I'd just like to say how pleased I am to be here tonight and to congratulate South Australia on being GM free. It's absolutely wonderful and you're a, a wonderful example to the rest of Australia and I hope we all follow you soon. The main GM crops are corn, soy, canola, cotton, which we eat as cottonseed oil and sugar beet. Now, these are um, processed into the highly refined ingredients that you find in lots of food on the shelves, and they're also fed to animals. Now, we do have a labelling standard, but the main exemptions of the labelling standard are highly refined ingredients and animal products from uh, animals fed GM feed. So as you can see, we do have a labelling standard, but you can drive a truck through it, which is why, although most foods in our supermarkets would likely uh, require labelling if they're processed foods. If you go around the supermarket, there are almost no labels. Now, I think this is incredibly deceptive because my feeling is if this GM food is so wonderful, it should be bannered all over the place. Wonderful GM food, here it is, here are the wonderful ingredients, and then we could decide for ourselves our basic right to know what's in our food and to be able to use our money to vote for the farming and the food that we want is being taken away from us. In the US they grow um, GM papaya in Hawaii, they also grow a small amount of crookneck squash and zucchini. We've heard reports that China is growing GM garlic, tomatoes, capsicum and papaya as well. Now these fruits and vegetables um, have not been approved by our food standards regulator for Zants, but but are they in our food chain? Our labelling laws are completely out of date with this international trade in food and with these GM crops popping up all over the place. We go into shops every day to buy food and it's time that they actually told us what we are buying and um, in the meantime, while they get that act together, I strongly suggest that what we do is we support the wonderful local food that we have here. So why not go to farmers markets where you can talk to farmers and you can say, what are you growing and how do you grow it? And I suggest you join the wonderful um, community gardens that are springing up everywhere or plant a few herbs, try your hand at growing a few veggies. I think we also need to, to feel empowered. You know, there is an um, amazing, vibrant food network and systems in Australia that is growing. It's fantastic. The energy is amazing. Let's support that. Why, why, do we, why do we want distant food that we have no idea what it is? Why not look around at all the wonderful farmers and, and small businesses and food producers that we have here and support them? Thank you. Thank you.